Good afternoon, Wallace. My name is Tim Harshman. I'm a surgical assistant at Mayo Clinic in Jacksonville, and I inventor, invented the Harshman retractor. So these are some of the retractors used, and 48 million surgical procedures are performed every year. Surgical procedures require the use of retractors like this to provide the exposure for the surgeon. The ergonomics of these handles is good, but it's not very comfortable for very long. In this graph, you can see that many surgeries are performed, millions of surgeries are performed, mainly in obstetric, OBGYN, orthopedic, and general surgery, where the DIVA retractor, like, on your, like that one I showed you, is used. Companies like this uh, sell the market and distribute these instruments to these specialties. In the light blue part of this graph, you can see where uh, the handheld surgical devices is a growing market. And on average, a Diva retractor like that costs anywhere from $22 to $200, depending on the handle. So retractors are global, and the market is expected to have a major uh, lucrative, a lucrative growth between 2017 and 2025. So there hasn't been a lot of innovation since the Mayo Brothers, and today's retractors are really kind of medieval. So this is a D retractor we hand, we wrap the uh, coban around, which is a non-stick to help the uh, assistant with the grip, but it's not very good for very long, and it has to be removed each time. So every time you switch hands with this retractor, you lose the exposure for the surgeon. So the coban works, but it's not that good. And if we could tow in the tip, like I did on this one, it would work much better. I also bent the handle up 90 degrees in this initial prototype to give ergonomics to the user. <coughs> this is the secondary prototype, and during the uh, trialing of the initial prototype and the secondary prototype, the towed-in feature at the end proved to be a worthwhile change. The handle, on the other hand, was not a welcome change and still needed some work to be done. So I did some experimentation. The new handle needed to be more ergonomic and user-friendly to avoid losing exposure and eliminate the fatigue for the surgical assistance. So I thought of this. I designed this handle called Harshman Handle. And this is going to be added to the distal end of the Diva retractor or the Harshman retractor. And it can also be used with other types of retractors that are in the market today that will provide better assistant uh, work. It will enhance and lengthen this exposure time for the surgeon during this critical time of the patient's procedure. Why now? The Harshman retractor will reduce and eliminate retractor slips. It will extend surgical exposure time, make surgeries more efficient, It'll make work more comfortable for surgical assistants around the world and lower errors, error risk for hospitals during surgery, all the while generating a substantial revenue for new instrument sales. So from Diva Retractor to Harshman Retractor, wherever the Diva Retractor is used today, the Harshman Retractor can be used tomorrow. Thank you. How much time is spent in the OR adjusting the retractors now? How much time would this save in a standard procedure that would be used a regular retractor? Well, a lot of the uh, loss of exposure happens um, from fatigue of the assistant or during a change of shift or change of uh, people. So there's no way of, I guess, handing off the retraction duties right now without losing the exposure. And that loss of exposure is where the the time consumption comes in the surgeries where, you know, surgery could take an hour. It's taking an hour and a half because there's a lot of fiddling around with the surgery, with the retractor. So an extra 30 minutes in the OR causes how much dollars? Well, it's about $62 an hour, uh, depending on the, the type of surgery. But 62 an hour? Uh, a minute, excuse 62 me. a minute, okay. A minute, yes. So that's going to be a substantial savings over a half an hour. And not to mention the stress level on the room is much easier because the surgical assistant is comfortable using the retractor, the exposure is retained for a longer period of time, therefore enhancing the surgery, which in turn will lead to time savings in the operating room 
The operating room can then have more surgical procedures performed because of the time savings of not messing around with the retractors. Is there IP here and have you filed any? Yes, sir. I have filed it with um, Mayo Clinic and it's protected as far as that's concerned, but there's there's no official filing with the U.S. Patent and Trademark Office yet or anything like that. What's the back of the envelope uh, profit that you would expect per year if you had, say, a 5% share of the market? Um, well, because it's still in a prototype phase, I don't have a lot of numbers yet. Uh, it's This is my third prototype. My first two prototypes led to this. I'm here at the walleye tank to help get this handle associated with the distal working end and get this into the market. So I can't really answer that question as of yet, but I think once the retractor is in the market, it would sell for about $100. Just the handle, I think, would sell for about $25. So does that answer your question? Last, last question. Um, can you retrofit these to put the handle on these existing ones? Absolutely. Okay, that's a big thing. And you think that's $25. How many manufacturers of the of companies are doing this? Probably thousands. Okay.